about as, as many things do almost overnight once again um, I was doing a series called The Lieutenant about the Marine Corps and one of the producers of The Lieutenant was a fellow named Norman Felton and he had a group called Arena Production. He did Dr. Kildare, The Eleventh Hour and, and so on, shows like that. Well Norman was a great friend of Ian Fleming so for many many years uh, they talked about doing James Bond on television. Well then they went from that to doing James Bond in the movies which were the first movies on it. And uh, after they started, the, after the movies had great success. I think it was from Russia with Love and Goldfinger were the first two. They were enormously successful. So they said, this is the time to strike in television. Let's do a version of that for television. So I was shooting uh, the lieutenant down in Camp Pendleton, south of, Gal south of Los Angeles. And I got a call. Uh, there's going to be a script at the MGM gate when you come back tonight. They'd like you to read. It's called Solo. And Mr. Feldman, like you see, you at the office tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. Well, I was a bachelor there. So I got back around midnight, picked up the script, put it in my car, and Gary Lockwood who was playing Lieutenant. I hit out of the Sunset Strip, picked up a few bimbos, floozies, and took them home. And I got uh, actually got rid of the grill about five o'clock in the morning. So I slept about two hours, and I hadn't read the script. And I read it. I had a 30-minute drive to, to the studio from where I was living. So I read it at red lights as I went along. I mean, as fast as I'm a pretty fast reader, so it wasn't that difficult. So I walked in, and, and Mr. Felton said, "Good morning. What did you think?" And I said, "Well, it's James Bond on television." He said, "That's what it is, right?" He said, are you interested? And I said, yes. He said, just a moment. He picked up the phone, called New York. It was now 12 noon in New York. Said hello to somebody at NBC in New York and said, Vaughn wants to do it. Thank you. Put the phone in. I said, have your agent give me a call. That's how it was done in those days. Now, of course, for a series, you meet 12, 21-year-old MBAs from Harvard before you meet anybody even vaguely connected with the show. Maybe after dozens of meetings, you might be involved with the producer or the director. But it doesn't happen that way with one phone call from an important guy on one coast to an important guy on the other coast and gets a green light for a show. It's very unusual. Anyway, we shot the pilot uh, during, uh, the pilot started on my birthday and the day Jack Kennedy was killed. Uh, that was the beginning of how the show started. We were, had a very difficult beginning because everybody was quite broken up, of course. But we resumed after the funeral and uh, it was picked up by NBC and Chevrolet. Now, in the in the olden days, back then, uh, the show would have gone off the air in about two weeks because the ratings were awful the first couple of weeks in September of 1963 or 64. Uh, then the college students came home having discovered the show at college and took over the television sets and took over the Nielsen rating. So we went from 63 in the Nielsen to top seven within three weeks after Christmas.